Hello, Mario. So in this task, we're going to put the the lot, lot 190, DPS, Deposited Plan South 25235, 24 Baker Street, Huntley West. We're going to draw that on to our plan form. Now, the lot boundaries are irregular, as you can see uh, here. Uh, they've got uh, bearings and distances between the, the small pegs here. So we're going to initially plot all those in and those points. Now it's quite, you can uh, plot using a protractor and a scale ruler. However, we usually, uh, this is done by coordinates. And so we need to position the coordinates on the plan or and grid lines, which will become clear as we move along. So that's what we're trying to do. This here is a printout of the uh, a Travis sheet that's been provided uh, by our surveyor, Mario. <clears throat> and so um, it starts at peg 01, which is um, this one here, and goes 316 degrees 47 for 27.05, so it goes from here to here. Then 46.57 for 9.02 is this little distance here, and so on and back around. So that's going to give us, so this is from 1 to 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's line number there. This is point number here. One, two, three, four, five, and back to back to one. So we will plot these coordinates, and that will give us the shape of the lot on our plan. Then we will need to put in these adjoining properties. Get in there. Just probably. Just put that one in there. It won't matter too much if that's a little bit there. So we'll probably put that in at right angles there or something. This one out there and so on. And then we'll uh, we'll, we'll uh, maybe scale off this uh, plan here. It's at 1 to 100 at A3, but um, <clears throat> we'll uh, put in the uh, footpath and the, uh, you know, the Cuban channel, that sort of thing. So there. So this comes now to this uh, calculation here, um, where we need to position the lot on the plan. So the first thing we do is find out the maximum north, minimum north, maximum east, minimum east. And then we can see uh, from those, I've made a little bit of a, identified the wrong one there. But, um, and then if we subtract those, that'll see that 35 by 35, our lot is going to have this, this bounding box here that's like 35, meters by 35 meters. Now I measured up our, our available area here on the plan and that is uh, 410 uh, this way and 250 this way. So I've put that in there. Now the if we look here at the um, original plan here, we can see that 
not with not too much gap there. Remembering that this is at one to a hundred, but it's at a three. Not too much gap there, and you know probably need a bit down here for the road. So anyway, I missed. I got a little ahead of myself. So this is the drawing area for ten by two fifty. We've got a thirty five meter bounding box, if you like. It's limited possibly in the uh, in the north area which we've got uh, 250 mils to deal with so if we divide the uh, the 250 mils into which is what we've got available into the 35 meters that we want to fit on we get 140 so a scale of like 101 to 140 would enable the box to fit in there, but we want more than that. And I think 1 to 150, which is possibly the next available scale, because we only use we only use the scales that are on the available scale rulers. So this is one here, one to ten. So this has got a 1 to 200 on it. Um, so we, we don't use like a scale, like there's no um, 1 to 137 scale or anything like that. So I, I've decided to use the 1 to 200 as that'll give me a little bit more room down here for the road. And uh, I noticed that this one here that I've shown here it's one to a hundred at a three at at, at, um, at a two one to a hundred at a two and uh, we're at a three so one to two hundred at a three I've decided on my scale now um, thirty five meters at one to two hundred is um, oh yeah thirty five meters at one to two hundred is one hundred and seventy five millimeters. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, that's um, so that means that one millimeter is 0.2 of a meter, and one meter is five millimeters. So um, yeah, so looking at um, from this uh, top one down here. Uh, 175, 35 meters is 175, and I, I, oh, to determine the, this, um, where we were going to position the box in the north, I decided that I would just um, come down uh, around about 10 mils, which, which is here, so I'd, I'll get that point about 10 mils from the top, which is there, which sort of coincides from there, so. I decided on that 10 mils uh, there um, in, in here 10 millimeters in here and then 175 mils here which would be 195 and then um, that would allow 65 down here and this is to the edge of the box now the northern coordinate for the box 724592 so we usually have the grid lines at nice even numbers. So I decided I'd put a grid line at 580, 724580, which will be 12 meters down from the top of the box and 12 meters at um, one to um, at one to 200 is 60 mils, right? Uh, 12 fives are 60 over here and plus the 10 mils down so I'm going to put that grid line there 724580 I'm going to put that 70 mils down there the next one will be 100 down there which will be 7724560 this one's further north less further north and then um, that'll leave 80 at the bottom here, um, sort of below this point here, probably, possibly, and that'll give us plenty of room to be able to fit the road and what have you in. OK. 
Okay. Uh, on the eastern one, again, there I said, right, 410 minus 175 uh, equals uh, um, 350 um, that there's equal to now I've, I've left that bit out equals um, so 5 from 10 is 5 8 from 11 is 3 235 and I've divided that by 2 and that gives me the 117.5 so that'll put that in the middle there so take that out there okay that'll give the 117.5 which I've said okay let's go approximately 120 for that so I'm going to come across 120 to the to the edge of the box then my um, uh, then my what have I said that is um, 35 uh, 175 mils and then there'll be you know a little bit more so that's uh, one, uh, 120 um, to here 120 um, to this point and we want to come back because um, that's 209 so we'll come back 9 which is um, 9 metres um, which is uh, 45 mils here and so that means 120 is 75 mils we'll come across 75 mils here and that'll be 434 200 another 100 434 uh, 220 another 100 434 240 another 100 um, 434 260 and then we'll have um, I think approximately 35 mils uh, to the edge of the sheet so that's um, yeah 70 75 plus 3 375 um, is it one, two, three, three, seven, five, um, plus thirty-five, three seven five plus thirty five will give us four hundred and ten. So as you can see, it's sort of um, quite a uh, complex little calculation that you've got to do there to make sure that you can get your or position your lot at the uh, at the center of the of the sheet. Um, so it does take a little bit of getting your head around. But anyway, let's, um, let's progress a little bit with that and see if we can get this uh, grid on here. So I'll do the, uh, the north grid first. And so um, that means um, we're coming uh, 70 mils down for the uh, first... Um, one there okay so I've got here um, I'll use the scale I think on this one my scale so I'm going to come down there 70 like that there and that will be uh, that one there just get my T square here Okay, so put that in there, and these you definitely have to make sure they're good and straight. And I'll just put a light line across there like that. Okay, so that's my there. And then the next one is down 100 mils. Um, okay, down 100 mils. Try and keep, so I've got that on 100, so the next one will be at 200, and it'll be there, and OK, 
Okay, and if my calculations are correct, we should have about 80 mils in here. So that's on 300. Yeah, approximately, yeah, around about, it's good, 220. So yeah, approximately we're working with. So that's um, those grid lines there. And now let's go across the way. And I've got my first grid line there at, I've said 75, 75. So let's, um, let's come here at 75. Okay. So I've positioned that there. 75 and then I want um, a little speak A little speck right on the the reading point of my my scale ruler makes it a little little hard. So I do need to be careful measuring these. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and I think I said I've got about thirty left. I should have had thirty-five. So. That's all right, it doesn't have to be exact here. Okay, so let's um, bring this down here. And, right. Um, just get that in there like that. And, pretty sure that's it. Oh, make sure that's unhindered. Okay, and we draw that down in there. Like that. Um, and these are our grid lines. Oh, that one's a bit out. Okay, that'll do. Just drawing them in lightly at this stage. Okay, and then we've got one. We could possibly, oh, just leave that one there like that. Like that, and that gives our grid lines. They should, uh, No, maybe not. Um, the diagonals, we don't have enough to do that. Right. Okay. Now, um, I think it's important that we um, we label these uh, first. So, this one here, um, we want to go uh, so I'm going to put some guidelines in here um, and work in millimetres, put some guidelines in here um, and I'm going to come up two millimetres in three and they're my uh, lettering guidelines. So I'm just going to come two millimeters off the line and then three, put that in there, now, okay, so this first one here is going to be 724560, so I'm going to write that in there. Seven, 
two, four, five, sixty, north. And um, you see there, yeah. I think 30 mils is probably going to be enough, and I'm just going to darken that grid line for 30 mils like that. So that's my grid line. Um, the other ones are there. We will need those. Now this one here will be... Um, this will be 724580 North. Okay. Um, 724580. north okay and we'll put that one in we'll make them all 30 mils long okay and we'll do the ones do the ones uh, we won't label these ones just label them on uh, one side it's probably enough so Like that, and okay, okay. Now the um, top ones, we'll just get those all done now. Okay. And yeah, same thing, so yeah. And there we are, we've got it all gridded up now and ready to post our to plot our coordinates. So 434, 200, 220 east, 240 east, 260 east. And that's um, all pretty much uh, according uh, to our plan here. So yeah, there we go. Um, oh, put everything back in order there and yeah, we'll take a break and we'll come back and plot the coordinates. Bloody marvellous.